Have you ever wanted to jump into a nap, hit a meditation, or be more productive on an instant? Well, there's something for you. Using one of my favorite tools, you can not only have better productivity, have better sleep, but also put your brain in the mind state of meditation easily and much more. Let's jump into Brain FM and how it uses neural phase locking to really make sure that your mind can be exactly how you need it to be when you need it in today's episode. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. I'm Austin Floyd from Heightened Living and I've been using Brain FM for the past two years and let me tell you, it has changed my life. Now here's what I've learned. Brain FM uses something called neurophase locking. Neurophase locking is quite literally the neural oscillations that our mind has. So Basically, what's going on in our brains constantly is that we're tuned in to different things in our environment. Brain FM uses artificial intelligence, music, and natural sounds from nature to actually help tune our brains into different mind states. They're using something called dynamic attending theory, which I'll refer to as DAT for the rest of this video. Now, here's a bit about how Brain FM works. When a temporal regularity is present in the environment, neuronal oscillations can synchronize to this external rhythmic stream. This is operationalized by appropriately biasing the high excitability phase of ongoing neuronal oscillations so that they align with the events in the stream. Now you know this feeling. This is when it's raining outside like it is right now here and you feel the droplets on the windows. You understand that it's a calm presence type energy going on. You want that cup of coffee. You know you could be productive or curl up with a good book. Or when you go to the beach and for the first time you touch the water, you feel at one with nature and your body relaxes, your mind relaxes, and you finally have presence. That's what it's doing. Since neuronal oscillations play such an important role in the brain, what it's quite literally doing is using artificial intelligence and these different types of sounds to tune your brain into what works best for it. Now, you may be wondering, how does Brain FM differ from something like binaural beats? Well, the truth is binaural beats don't have that much scientific backing. There isn't many studies that show that it actually works for what it does work for. I have to admit, I do love binaural beats and I make sure to use theta sometimes when I'm meditating and I try to use delta for deep wave sleep but the fact of the matter is the science on them is shaky what binaural beats actually do is project one sound in each ear that differs slightly which creates a different frequency in the mind is supposed to tune it into something different whereas with brain fm the way that it's actually working is by making these neuronal oscillations these mind states change based on the music and everything that's going into it. It's why when you feel EDM, you know you get lost in the music and it feels that flow state. Just like they talked about in the book, Stealing Fire, how often people are gravitating more towards EDM because it is that loss, that feeling, that flowing consciousness. Now, Brain FM can also be used without headphones, which makes it better for when you're using it for a nap or for sleeping. And it's something that I love to do because the slow waves bounce off the wall. The music is still the same music and it helps all attune you to what goal you're trying to get out of that specific session. Now, what can you use Brain FM for? I like to use Brain FM when it comes to productivity because they have a focus noise that actually helps you just zone in and it works like literally in an instant. You feel that going. I like to use it for my naps because it not only brings you into the nap, but it pulls you out of the nap. And often I use it for sleeping and for meditating just to help make sure that I'm in the right mind state during that time. But shortly after I turn it off, once I know that I'm either in the meditation state or I know that I'm asleep and I don't need the sounds anymore. Now, this is not an advertisement for Brain FM, but what I wanted to do was present you with one of the tools that I like to use every day. I use it easily, I use it quickly, and it really helps you be more efficient at what you're trying to do because with time being one of our main assets, being able to usurp and get as much time as we can and use it efficiently and in the best mind state that we can instead of taking a lot of time to get to where we need to go is so important. Of course, with meditation, you're gonna to wanna to be able to have still silent meditations because that is the mind being clear. But with productivity, with napping, Helping you along the way is so good and Brain FM is perfect for that. So that's it for this video. Let me know how you like to use Binaural Beats or Brain FM to actually get in tune with whatever you're doing for the day. Otherwise, please press subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and I'll see you in a video soon.